Right. So moving ahead. Um, right. So yeah, uh, for sure, Jenny. Thanks for letting us know. Uh, moving ahead. Let's go on to the next part of this. Now, um, we're going to take a look at a few more modules and packages that are very handy in Python when we can perform a lot of different kind of operations. Uh, before that, just one quick query. I hope everybody can hear me properly and see the screen. Uh, please let me know. If you can, we will go ahead right away. Just a thumbs up or anything should be fine. If you are able to hear me and see the screen, that should be fine enough. Right. Um, not sure. But I think you should be able to hear me. We can hear you. All right, all right, thanks for letting me know. Thank you. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead in that case. Now, uh, we took a look at uh, a little bit about databases and uh, of course I could not go quite in depth about these, uh, but uh, um, just in short, there are very different databases if you really wanna explore and see how you can integrate them and so on. Uh, in short, Mongo is the obvious selection in NoSQL no databases. A uh, pinecone is the default selection in vector databases, which is used for large scale machine learning applications and building your own LLMs. Let's say GPT, for instance. Uh, Chat GPT uses pinecone, uh, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, um, I, I believe this is the one that is used by Chat GPT as well. Unless I'm wrong, I might need to confirm. But yeah, most AI based applications which uh, uh, require storage in these use Pinecone database by default. Uh, it's a really good database if you want to look into um, vector based operations ahead in time. But anyway, let's move away from that and uh, um, let's get started with Selenium. Now, Selenium is a package that's not just limited to Python. I want to clear this out first. Selenium is available, available for C++, Ruby, Java, JavaScript, Python. I believe it's available for Rust, last I remember. Um, okay, or maybe not, but yeah, uh, it's available for a lot of different languages. Now, when we talk about Selenium, the things it, do, it basically does is it helps you automate any kind of web applications. So whatever web applications you want to do, um, it basically helps you automate these. Now, to begin with, let's start to look at uh, what kind of applications, what kind of web applications it automates and what does it do. Uh, before I start, I'm terribly sorry. I might, I would request, uh, please wait for a few seconds. I'll just be on mute for maybe 30 seconds maximum. Please wait. Yeah, apologies for the slight delay. Let's uh, get back to this right away. Now, uh, when we talk about Selenium, the main purpose of this is to make sure that you can automate everything with browsers. It could be, let's say, you're going to book a flight ticket. I'll just take some random website that comes up to begin with. When you're about to go book a flight ticket, let's say I'll just skip all of these. Um, you're going to have to enter the city. You're going to have to type the initial city, let's say Seattle to begin with. And let's say you have to enter the destination. Let's go from Seattle to San Francisco, for instance. You select the particular date and you select the amount of people, the kind of class, and you go ahead with booking of this ticket. This whole process that you had to do manually like performing some web-based operations. It could be logging in, logging out, whatever it is that you want to do. You can perform all these things through Selenium. It's a beautiful package that or library that exists that you can just use with any, any web automations you want. Every morning, the moment you log into your PC, let's say you have to um, open up your browser, perform some um, tasks that you can just do. Uh, using this 
to begin with. For example, it uh, helps you perform all kinds of operations in the most easiest way possible. You get to automate a lot of things through this. That's just one thing that uh, um, we need to know when it comes down to the silly mill. Um, a huge amount of things get automated with this. So yeah, uh, with that idea alone, let's take a look at uh, um, what exactly it is and how exactly it works in detail. Now, to automate anything with Selenium, you need two things. One, a programming language that can help you with Selenium. Two, the driver of the web browser you're gonna use with Selenium. You're gonna need both of these in order to install Selenium. So that's the first thing you need to know. So let's start with our case. In our current case scenario, since we are using Python, uh, let me just create a new directory for our purpose. Let's call it as 08 underscore Selenium. Should be good enough. And let's perform, let's create a new file. B6.py and let's start with this. So the whole idea of uh, us beginning with Selenium is first thing, it's a web automation tool. The whole idea or whatever we wanna do when it comes down to Selenium is that we do two tasks, two specific tasks. The first task is that, all oh, right, um, again, I'm terribly sorry, might need to be on mute for maybe just 30 more seconds. Please bear with us. Again, I'm terribly sorry for this. I'll just make sure my kitchen is ready so that it doesn't disrupt our sessions. Um, so back again, and uh, again, terribly sorry for the slight delays. Um, I'm terribly sorry for that. Just, just note, I've recently been, uh, I've recently adopted a kitten, which is why I have to um, specifically be around to take care for a few minutes here and there. So uh, again, that's not something I can skip immediately. So I'm terribly sorry for that. Please bear with that for a very few minutes. Let's get back to this very quickly. Now, uh, back to Selenium. There are two things that we need to know when we start working on Selenium. The first one is that you need a programming language specific package. If you're gonna use Java, you need Java package for Selenium. If you're gonna use uh, Python, you need Python package for Selenium. Whichever package you use, this particular package will send instructions to a web browser to do something. And for the web browser to receive instructions and do some operations, the web browser needs some additional things. Just a package within a programming language is not enough. You need an intermediary between the web browser and the programming language, which we call as web driver. So these are the two things we need. A package for programming language, a web driver to connect the programming language with the web browser and a web browser. And we need to make sure that this web driver and web browser are of the same version. If they're not of the same version, this code is not gonna work. So if language package for Python for Selenium, then 
a web driver for Selenium, which only works for a particular web browser like Chrome, will have Chrome driver or Chromium driver. And if the Chrome version is 112, the web driver version should also be 112, for example. That's how it works. Now, let's get started and uh, get to see what it does, how it performs and everything. And just so you all know, um, even one and a half hours is very sm a small amount to learn a lot of these packages. Even uh, just the database connectivities, as we got to know, there's only little that we could learn. And there's so much that we haven't seen about or haven't learned about. Um, so there's a lot that you can work through. There's a lot that you can look into and uh, uh, perform operations on top of just so that we know and we remember. So please note that and please remember that. That is something that will be constantly available. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, start with this. Selenium is uh, an automation framework that supports multiple browsers to perform web automation. This is the whole purpose of it. Now, uh, with this basic idea, let's get started with a Selenium Python installation and begin with us. The first thing we need to do for Python installation of Selenium is just use pip install Selenium. That's pretty much it. You just need to do this. With this, Selenium will be installed for you, for your particular programming language. And uh, followed by this, we can then move ahead and um, <clears throat> go on to the browser part. So make sure you're able to install this and uh, we can get started with this. All right. Um, so with this, let's go ahead and go on to the next part. So the next thing I'm going to do here is go to my browser, go to help about Google Chrome. You can see the current version of Google Chrome is 118.0 and it's updating Chrome. So I don't know if it's going to be affected or not, but I'm going to use one. Okay, it's updating now. Let's see what happens. Uh, by the time, let us let me just search for Selenium Chrome driver. So this is the web page, the chromium.org, where you can get Chrome drivers for uh, Selenium. So you just have to download the one that fits your uh, browser version. Just go ahead, take a look at uh, uh, what is the browser version at your end for Google Chrome. Just go to help and about Google Chrome. Um, you should get to see what is your version. And once you get to know what your version is, you just have to download the Chrome driver of that version. Um, here it says, if you're using Chrome version 115 or newer, please control, please consult Chrome for testing availability dashboard. This provides JSON endpoints for Chrome version downloading. All right. All right, so there we go. Um, this is where it is. So the link is different. Please use the newer link. Uh, so yeah, there it is. Nearly up to date, relaunching Chrome will finish updating. I don't want to do that now. I'll just keep it as it is. We're going to take 118.0.5993. Let's take a look at this. 118.0.5993. Uh, the smallest bug fix shouldn't really make a difference for us. This is fine. Let's take this particular stable version. I'm just going to click on this table. It's going to tell me what are the different uh, versions it has. Now, you need to download the right Selenium driver for your end. Uh, that is, which is the particular Selenium, Selenium driver uh, that you have or you require at your end. So you can see for different operating systems, you're going to have different ones here. So you'll have um, a lot of different things for different operating systems, and you can download any of them. So let's just start with one simple thing. Once you click on stable, this is my new version of Chrome. So I'm just gonna take one of these and I'm just gonna click on it. Now, since I'm using Windows, I'm just gonna take this Windows 64 bit and I'll just go to this web page. I should get this Chrome driver directly available. And yeah, that's how we can uh, download and install 
a Chrome driver. Uh, once you have downloaded, uh, let's say your Chrome driver and you have it available, the next step is to start connecting to your Chrome driver from Python code and performing operations. So let's do that up next. Now, um, yeah, let's start with this. Now that we know this basic idea, uh, let's get to the next part. I'm just gonna take this zip file and uh, I'm just gonna keep this in our directory that we need. So our directory is Python tutorial. I'm just gonna go to Selenium and I'm just gonna create a new directory called web driver and I'm gonna place this here. So if you take a look at the zip file, you should have all these sort of things. A lot of files will be there within it, including chrome.exe and everything. So there are a lot of things that will exist within it. And uh, um, this is what we have. Now, let's go ahead. Uh, please let me know if you're able to perform these operations till now. Uh, also specifically, please let me know if you're unable to perform any of these operations so that I can particularly help out to um, resolve any issue that you might uh, face. I'm all set so far. All right, awesome. That's pretty awesome. Now, uh, in this case, uh, let me go back to one little thing. Uh, I'll see. Oh, yeah, I think. Um, I think there's one little mistake. Let me just cross verify this. Right, so let me get, get back to Selenium uh, because I think this may be the new thing that Selenium has come up with. Let me just cross verify this immediately for our reference. Uh, let me just check Python API documentation. Again, if you want to, get into detail about um, how to and how to do anything within this, like click any button, log in, do whatever you want within Selenium. Um, this is probably the best documentation. It's done by the official developers and it's really beautiful to work through it. So yeah, here's what they're saying. Install Selenium and once you've installed Selenium, go ahead and download the Chrome driver. Once you've downloaded either for Chrome or for Edge, Firefox, Safari, 